Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. On this channel, we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the SQL 50 Crack SQL Interview in 50 Question series where we are trying to learn hands-on SQL using 50 carefully curated questions covering diverse aspects of SQL. So we are already done with the select basic joins as well as the basic aggregate functions. From this video, we are going to start sorting and grouping. Then we'll be moving on to advanced select and joins, subqueries, and finally on advanced string functions, regex, and clauses. In our previous video, we worked on this question called gameplay analysis where apart from learning about various aggregate functions, we also saw how we can subtract or add days from a column that has data type date. In this video, we are going to solve this question number of unique subjects taught by each teacher and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So yeah, this is the 23rd question of this series called number of unique subjects taught by each teacher. And if I look at the companies, this question has been asked in Cape Gemini. Okay, let's look at what the question has to say. We are given a table called teacher with three different columns, teacher ID, subject ID, department ID, and all of them has a data type integer. The combined column subject ID and department ID is the primary key that is combination of columns with unique values of this table. Each row in this table indicates that the teacher with teacher ID teaches the subject subject ID in the department department. Department ID. We are asked to write a solution to calculate the number of unique subjects each teacher teaches in the university. Order of the result does not matter. So let's look at the example here and try to see what we can get in our output. We have certain rows for various teacher IDs, their subject IDs and the department IDs and we need to output for every teacher how many unique subjects are being taught by them. So for teacher ID 1, there are two unique subjects with subject ID 2 and 3. Their departments are different but what we need in our output is number of unique subjects each teacher teaches in the university. So one teaches two and teacher ID 2 teaches 1, 2, 3 and 4. So 4 different subjects and that is what we have in our output. So all you have to do is group by the teacher ID and count the number of distinct subject IDs. So if I go ahead and do from this table called teacher, if I group by the column called teacher ID and if we are grouping by teacher ID, we can also return that column. This is what we learned about group bys in this series earlier as well. So count of distinct subject ID and this should be aliased as count. So as count and if I go ahead and run this, let's see what do we get in our output. So this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases. So yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it. So very simple question. All we had to do was group by the teacher ID and count the number of distinct subject IDs. The reason being we need to find the number of unique subjects and this is one way of doing it. Let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video.